Hey, it's Srini, the host and co-founder of Blogcast FM, and today I'm interviewing... Wait a minute. Right, right. This is supposed to go on YouTube, not iTunes. Sorry. Hey, I'm Srini. I'm the host and co-founder of Blogcast FM. Sorry about that. That's an old habit. Uh, I spend a lot of time talking to people on Skype and recording things on iTunes, as you probably know. So I know that we've got a lot of new newsletter subscribers to our show this week, so I decided to record another video just to welcome all of you guys. I know probably a ton of you have come over from the Handmade community because of the Handmade event that we had the other night. So uh, welcome to the Blogcast FM family. Uh, I hope that you guys are finding our site useful and digging through our archives and uh, digging through the hundreds of interviews there. So I want to go on and, and, and talk about some things that people have been asking me about. One of the questions that I have been getting from a couple of people over the last couple of days is what happened to Amy? Well, I know Amy is way cuter than I am, way funnier than I am, and, and way more interesting than I am. But uh, unfortunately, one of the things that happened with This Week in Blogging is that the popularity of it just sort of waned. And it's one of those things that we have to kind of talk about as though we're a media company. In fact, the way we like to think of ourselves these days is that we're like the NBC of the blogosphere, where we're producing different shows and different types. And in a lot of ways, this week in blogging was like a pilot. So if the pilot gets good ratings, you produce a couple more episodes. And one of the things that happened is that the ratings or the views just started to go down. And Amy was working really hard, almost too hard, for the amount of visibility that it was putting on what she was doing. Uh, so unfortunately, we had to table the show in its current form. We're actually talking about some other ways in which we might bring her back on a more infrequent basis. So bear with us on that. And, and, and keep your eyes open and glued to our YouTube channel because we will hopefully be able to work something out where we get her doing a, a different kind of show that is less taxing on her. And she's super overloaded, uh, but you can definitely hit her up at SavvySexySocial.com. Check out her YouTube channel. She's still producing a lot of really awesome stuff there. So now I want to go on to a, a couple of other things. I want to talk about a book that I read earlier this week. I actually picked up this really great book called uh, Making Ideas Happen. It's by Scott Belsky from uh, The 99% and uh, Behance. If you guys have not read that book, I highly recommend it. It's going to be actually really valuable in being able to pull off the next tip that I'm going to give you today. So let's get on to a tip that I want to talk about. This is something that I have been thinking about and wanting to share with you guys for a really long time. I want to talk about how you conduct useful experiments with your blog or your online business. So the way most people digest information, they may go to Copy Blogger, Social Media Examiner, Social Triggers, or any, any one of these blogs that are really popular and really big, and they will implement the advice word for word. And you know what? You'll get results by doing that. But a way you'll get much more interesting and out of this world results is by experimenting. So what do I mean by experimenting? Well, the way I think of it, you're kind of like a cook or a gourmet chef, and all those pieces of advice that you read at each of those blogs are kind of like your ingredients. So instead of just following those to the letter, because let's face it, I mean, if you went to somebody's house for dinner and they said, hey, here's salt, you're probably not going to be that interesting, or it's not, your, your dishes are not going to taste that good. So you don't want to feed somebody salt. So what you do, you basically combine all those ingredients together. And you do it in a way that only you could do, or caters to your unique strengths. So let's say that each one of those posts has ideas that you think are really interesting. Well, instead of doing one of those ideas or doing those ideas from one post to the letter, you could combine different ideas from each of those posts, and what you'll produce is an experiment. And hopefully it doesn't blow up in your face or taste horrible in our cooking analogy. So let me give you a concrete example of this. Uh, in fact, it's one that you're all very familiar with if you actually attended our handmade live event. So that idea was actually an experiment. It was combining a bunch of different ingredients together. And those ingredients were things that I had been told about on Blogcast FM from a number of our guests. Somebody had told me that webinars were a great way to generate email subscribers. Well, I thought, OK, well, that's cool. I, we haven't done any webinars yet. And then somebody else told me that video was a great way to get exposure. And then I thought, well, I also do interviews. I wonder what I could do to combine the idea of a webinar, doing video, and doing an interview. And that's where the idea for a handmade evening came. And I thought, well, this would be a great way to reach a lot of people at once and also provide something of tremendous value to the audiences of each of the people who are our hosts on, on the handmade evening or our, our guests, uh, Terry Gentili, Mike Carlos, April Bowles, and Jessica Hepburn, as well as Megan Amon. So 
I want you to think about this idea of experimentation and think about how you can apply it to your own blog. So that's my weekly video tip. I really am thrilled to have all of you who just joined our family here this week uh, as a part of what I like to refer to as the Blogcast FM Empire. And be sure to check out the site. We've had some amazing interviews in the last few weeks. We've had Chris Gillibo talk about his new book, The $100 Startup, and all the tipping points in his own journey. We've had Danielle Laporte talk about the Firestarter sessions. We've had Jessica Swift talk about how she evolved an e-course into an actual book deal. And a number of other really amazing guests, and even James Wedmore talking about, you guessed it, YouTube. So I'm Srini, and that's it. I hope you're having a great week, and I look forward to seeing you everywhere else on the web.